Hello, my name is Tom Lodziak. In this video, we're going to look at how to deal with balls which are placed to your wide forehand position. And this is something that I often really struggle with. Um, so I'll find myself playing forehand attacks from the middle of the table or from the backhand corner. But then when the ball is placed to the wide forehand position, I find myself struggling to get there and to play a decent shot. So to help me fix this problem, I've had a couple of coaching sessions recently with Ferenc Horath from Paragon Table Tennis. And in this video, I'm going to show you footage from one of the coaching sessions where Ferenc gives me three or four really useful tips about how I can improve my ability to attack from this position, recover, and then attack from that position. The first tip from Ferenc was to do with my balance. What he noticed was that when I was playing my forehand attacks from this position, my balance would often end up leaning in this direction, which made it very difficult for me to then move into this direction. So what Ferenc suggested was that I should try to finish with my attack with my balance, with my weight distributed more centrally so that I can attack, balance, weight is here. Then it is easier to move over to the other side of the table. So the slightest change yeah. on this angle, you want to fix this shot, you lean to the left and then you can't lean back to the right. The upper body, the entire balancing needs to be very close to your, to your middle, to your core here. Very good, crossover. Ferenc's second tip was to do with distance, my distance from the table. And what he noticed was that as I was playing my forehand attacks from the backhand corner, I'd often just start creeping around the side of the table a bit too much. And that made it harder for me to get across to the next ball because kind of the table's in the way which means then I have to go further back to be able to get to that ball. So what he suggested was when I'm playing my forehand attacks from the backhand corner, I should just give myself a little more distance just be a little bit further back from the table. That means then I have a clear path that when the ball is switched to my wide forehand, I can get across a little bit quicker. And when I move you out here, you come closer. Yeah. And then when I change, you need to go backwards even more. So I would still keep you this far and maybe the ball shall go a bit lower and wait. Very good. The third tip from Ferenc was to do with my height. What he noticed was that when I was playing my forehand attacks from this position, I was very upright, which means I wasn't using my legs very much. And that slowed me down. So when the ball was switched to the wide forehand position, I'm slow to get across because I'm not using my legs very efficiently. So when then he got me to lower, to engage with my legs more, I found that a couple of things happened. Number one, I was playing better quality forehand attacks from this position. Number two, I could get over to the wide forehand position much quicker as my legs are engaged and ready to be able to spring across the table. It, it's, it's a game over the moment you come right up. 
as long as you can manage to stay low, you can do these leanings left and right, and you can do some emergency leaning if you need some extra. Very good. And probably you never stay this low through, through six, seven tops. But this really forces you. Yeah. It's a killer one. So these three tips combined, keeping my balance centered, keeping a little bit of distance from the table and keeping lower made it much easier for me to play a forehand from this position and then play a forehand from that wide forehand position. Very good. Very good, crossover. Very good. Nice. So, that's how you do it. Easy peasy. Well, not really. I'm still gonna need a lot of practice to be able to do this really consistently, to be able to attack from this position, recover and attack from that position. But at least I have a much clearer idea of what it is that I need to do. A big thank you to Ferenc for helping me try to fix this problem. You can find out more about Ferenc on his website at paragontabletennis.co.uk. I'll have plenty more videos coming soon, so I'll see you then. Bye-bye.